Ay, ay, ay. Alright, guys. What's going on, everybody? It's your boys. I'm about to right now. What's going on, guys? It's your boys, Scuffle B, and I'm here bringing you guys that finally give you guys what you guys wanted that ETG 10 recap video. Now, a lot of things happen with this one, so uh, let me get everything sorted. Nah, that's what I'm sorry. <coughs> Alright, so let me start that off. Okay, so let's start it off with the night before. I was planning on going to ETG with Hazard and um, Galaxy and whatever. I don't know what happened. And I figured that they like sketched last minute, you know. I saw that some of the ETG cast you can't trust, you know. And then fools, when I got there, I, you know, like I was mad. I got there, you know, I got there. I didn't wake up early like I planned to. I woke up like nine and then I left at ten and probably got there like ten thirty. So, you know, I had to the I was headed to the venue. Strike was like, Yo, where you at? You know what I mean? And uh I I, I tell you I know I, I tweeted at Melo to see where he was too. He was on his way. So um I got there and uh walked in, saw Dre. I had to get the money for the spectator pass so that I went back. Me and Strike went back. Saw Profizi and uh got the money i got in there so we're here we're kicking it you know now we notice when i walked in there uh this kid walked up to me i was like yo scuff what's up now i try to, i don't have an ego neither do i try to play that i have an ego so when i see people walk up to me and like i don't know you i'm gonna be respectful because hey you know me that's pretty good you know like but if I don't know you, you know, I'll probably play like I know you, and then I'll be like, oh, yeah, what was your gamer tag? I, yeah, I knew it was you. So, Mellow, it was Mellow. Mellow's my young game, my little Don, dude. Uh, I love that kid. Um, he walked up to me, was like, yo, Scuff, what's up? I'm like, hey, what's good, homie? You know what I'm saying? I didn't know who he was. <laughs> I didn't know who he was. I, I don't know if he knew that, but I didn't know who he was. I was like, oh, okay. So, I was like, who's that fool? I was like, we talking, like, who's that fool? I was like, oh, I don't know who that fool was, man, but, uh, yeah, um, we came back, and we were chilling, we were kicking it, watching the comp here, and I was literally like, okay, half these players, we didn't even get to play at the last ETG, and some of these players are just new people that probably get, like, out so quick, so it doesn't even matter, I'm like, if anything, it's gonna be, like, Roger, Roger's team to win, you know, inverted, you know, he's gonna play with Pen B, Soapy, and most likely happy, that's what I thought, then it's, it's it flip-flop. I found you find out later on that Roger was playing with Soapy Penby and Profizi and Happy was playing with like Saint Relap Saint Re Recap something like that. I don't know. It's too, I'm too, I don't know, whatever. But um Yeah, that happened and um you know, we're kicking out. I was still watching the comp. And you know I remember they said it was if you had a chance, you know, any team that wants to make a dominant force will give you the shot right now. I, w I in my heart, I really wanted to play, but you know, I don't want to just like play to peep that people I don't know, unless we're playing for fun, and then we just end up surprisingly doing well, you know. So I didn't, I, I didn't take the opportunity. I was just gonna, you know, chill, watch every other everybody else game. So this kid, you know, he keeps walking up to me. I'm like, yeah, this kid's really chill. And then and finally, you know, we're sitting down, and we're talking to BBG Chris, and I was like, yo, Chris, tell that fool to come over here. You know what I'm saying? Go over here. 
And I was like, well, what's your gamer tag? I told Strike to ask him, what's your gamer tag? He goes, Mellow. I was like, I told y'all that I was Mellow. They was like, no, you didn't. You didn't know even while I was playing it off, man. I didn't know it was Mellow. But, um, yeah, um, a lot of impressive teams came up th um, this event. I, I personally still thought that there was not as much comp as it was last event, to be honest. Like, I'm not trying to overestimate. I'm not trying to underrate or overrate these players, you know, but players like Slums, Flaked, I don't think Adapt was there, XF wasn't there, City wasn't there, Blinks wasn't there, um, Nitro was there, um, I think of, J Manson was there, Cross was there, I'm trying to think of players that like were like top maybe eight, you know, um, yeah, XF wasn't there. They they play. They always placed either second or, or first. So that 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 played a big major role. So with those players not being there to take everybody out as they did last one, you know, that these players placed higher. As you can see, like Jay Marison, I'm pretty sure placed like what fourth, fifth this event, um, or six. His team placed like fifth or sixth. I remember they were playing uh Rogers team. But I'm skipping. I'm skipping. Anyway, so let me let me go to the key funny parts about this event. Let's start off with like later later into the event. Okay, so strike strikes teaming with uh um uh Sofo Sofo and Dirty and another dude. They they lost. They lost to these guys. They underrated them. Even I underrated them. I'm like, yo, this is these dudes first land. Fo oh my goodness, it's Mellow calling me, guys. All right, I'm gonna we'll get back to that call. Anyway. Um, so that happened, and, um, them fools washed Sofo's team, washed them, and I was just shocked, I was like, hey, yo, I saw the hard part, I saw the get destroyed, I was like, yeah, let me just walk away back, I don't even know what happened, then they played them in uplink, and then lost to them, so they, so they lost, and went to losers bracket, so we're like, you know, they was mad, whatever, then we're gonna go watch a, a couple of other games, and, uh, things start taking to, like, a, like a twist, if you, if you catch my drift, um, we're getting, we're sitting by watching, I think we're watching Oog, Oog's team was playing, and you know, Oog's my homie, Oog's like, Oog's a really cool dude, man, like, I like that dude, um, we're watching them play, and we're sitting off the side, it's me and Strike, I think somebody caught a video of it, and I don't know what happened, but I saw this Pops, this dad right here got heated, the fool was like, this fool was like, you said something about my son again, I swear to, I'll smack the, I'm like, oh, and I, so I walk up. You can see in the video, like when they because they they upload the video on Twitter. You see me like this with the MOG with the MOG sweat. I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Chill out. Like I'm saying, I hard the pops back a little bit. Then when well, I thought I saw things was getting reckless, cause a little kid was like, he called like, oh, bro, y'all need to watch the video, cause there's no explanation. I don't even curse, so I can't even really say what that fool said. But he was like, I'm trying to be respectful. You want to be out? I was like, so. Then that fool said the, the, the pops was trying to get turned up. He was like, bro, he, he was like, you're trying to fight a 16 year I was like, nah, what? I will get my son up, up out of you. And then I was like, yo, I need security. I turned around. The mom was like, hey, hey, we don't need security. I was like, hey, I don't know about that, bro. You got two pops about to fight. But, um, yeah, so they was talking crazy. Then I saw another father. I saw another father get in. And when I came back, when I came back and things calmed down a little bit, you know, they were still talking smack. I saw another father. The little kid, they finished winning. They, you know, they packed their stuff. The other father looked at him. He was grilling him. He was grilling him hard, bro. This dude was staring at him like, like, for a good minute. And then the dude's, the dude's right there. He, he ain't buff. He up. He told him, bro, like, like three times. He told him once in his face. And three times after he walked away. Yo, I'm telling you, you guys have to, if I, I'm going to put, if I can find the link of that video, I'm pretty sure I have it on my Twitter, because somebody retweeted it to me, you got to watch it, because I, you can see me there with my emoji, so you can see a lot of people there, but you can see, it was bad, dude, like, ETG, one thing I like about ETG, yes, ETG may be the worst trash talking event there is. But it's a very good land. We have to realize that, and the, and the referees and everybody like the, like the people watching the like like the 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 tables and stuff like that. They try their hardest to calm down these players. But when these players are getting into the game, they say things that they really don't mean. It in the end, it's all GGs. Like everybody you know, shake hands. It's GGs. It's mental games. You know stuff like that. It's a lot. It's culture. It's a culture in Call of Duty. 
So when you see these things, you know, I feel like that fool, you know, he was wrong. First of all, he was wrong talking to a pops like that. Like that fool was wrong. Like if you talk to me like that, I straight would have decked them on some real stuff. Like the fools, like yeah, that, that's disrespectful. That's somebody's dad. You don't just talk to somebody's dad like that. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that was just wrong. That was wrong. That was wrong in so many levels for both parts. But when I talked to the dad later on, I realized, you know, that's somebody's son. I heard what the dude was doing. The dude supposed to be like he was like straight bullying him, bro. Like middle of the game, he just went up to him across the table, bro. Like shake him. You know what I'm saying, like the dude, like you know what I'm saying, like things that should have not happened. Like the dude was doing, and that's how that's how the pops got in. That was yo. <sighs> That was a highlight. That was probably one of the highlights. The other highlight I had to do with, like, later on. So, I think I remember uh, I finally met Titus. Uh, I saw Titus playing. And I didn't know who this fool was, so I kept my distance. You know what I'm saying? I would watch Roger and then play that. I just noticed, like, this fool talk a lot. I'm like, this fool talk too much. Like, what was this, fam? I realized it was Titus. I was like, oh, I forgot he was going to the vet. Because we, we was playing with Gunzik the night before. And Gunzik said, shout out to my homie uh, uh, Titus because he's going. So I, I knew Sinatra knew Titus. So I was like, oh, all right. You know what I'm saying? I'll go. Yeah, whatever. So I finally met him. You know what I'm saying? And I remember uh, it took a while. We went to, we was going to, we, you know, I took another video. We was going to go to Chipotle. It was me, Oog, Bleez, Chunky, and was that it? Yeah, that's it. And Strike. But we ended up going to McDonald's, we ate a little bit, and then we head back to the event, and, uh, yeah, I just remember we were both likely chilling, I remember that I started, that, um, later on I started casting, and like, I started casting on MLG channel, I'm, people said I did really well, I'm just, you know what it is, when I'm, I'm just a fast speaker, naturally, but I just, I feel like I normally try to slow myself down when I speak, but I'm a fast speaker, so when I'm watching plays, I just use COD knowledge, and I put the plays together, and I felt like I was doing really good with that, because I'm, uh, that, I'm not really a good caster, I just put plays together, what they can do, what can they do better, and my speaking, and I, I, I ended up doing pretty well, I actually saw the MLG chat, and I was like, some people said this dude was doing really well, one problem I had, Moxie, when I was doing cast on Moxie, you know, Moxie will fill in with parts where I didn't even know what to say, or I was just trying to give him some time to speak, because if I could, I would have done the whole thing, I had, I'm Canadian, and that dude, he's cool people, but like, at some points, I felt like he barely spoke, I didn't know if he knew what was going on, so I don't, I give him credit, but I felt like I was casting the whole bell, I was like, oh, snap, you know, like, casting the whole hard point, but, uh, it was what it was, and, you know, I pretty much enjoy casting. Now, to the next thing. Oh, my goodness. It was, was it hot? Yo, there's a scuffle alarm going on, boys. Whenever I heard somebody yelling, I had to come through and just, like, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? I had to see what's going on. It, it was cool. I met a lot of cool people. I'm not going to lie, but um, the biggest, I think the biggest... Besides the pops and like the, the that that sixteen year old, the biggest thing had to be probably was Titus and Oog. Now I'm here just chilling, you know, kicking it. You know how I be kicking it, and then I'm here like you know I hear Oog yelling, so I start taking my video. You know how it is, like you guys seen the video on Twitter. You know Titus is yelling too, like step it up, baby, let's go. But I, I you know, they were down forty to like what two hundred and twenty something. So I was like, yeah, hey, this is an I'll record this for the fun of it. You know, I miss, I miss, I miss the key parts is like where, you know, it's like, you know what it is. It's kind of like fighting where like when you, if you haven't been in a fight, you would understand. But it's like fighting where like you're, in, you know, you're going, you, you scrapping with a dude and you got the whole crowd. The whole crowd is probably the worst thing about fighting because they, when they get in your heads, bro, like they like, oh, oh, this, oh, that, or like, yo, hit him more, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it gets into your head, bro, and you, you, you start, you start like acting crazy and stuff like that. And it's, it's like that's what it was. Oog, if you seen the video, Oog was like, yeah, that's why he got kicked out of Meta. The whole crowd was like, oh, and I was, I was just like, you know, what I'm saying, cause I'm just like, bro, I was like, you know, people, you, you Oog, no, I know Oog. Oog tries to play mental game very well. Oog would never play mental games with me. I'll shut that fool down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I told him, I was like, yo, you suck at an AR. If he, if he starts smacking me down, I'm going to let him talk crazy to me because then he deserves it. <laughs> and then he's going to do it regardless because he, he plays mental games. But um, he said that, and the whole crowd was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? So I waited a little bit. And the dude, the, 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 the referee was like, hey, yo, y'all need to chill with all that cursing, you know what I'm saying? And then straight and then, uh Titus was like, after this match, I'm going to beat you up, bro. Where the moms? I'm like. I knew, I, like, I already knew where it was going, bro. So, the game was over. It was giving daps. Oog went to go give Tyson. He said, nah, get out of my face with that. And then took his bag, bro, and walked. He stormed out. He stormed out. I'm like, I'm just like, yo, yeah, yeah. You're like, this is one of the, this is the craziest ETG fam. I'm like, I never seen things like this before. I was just, I was laughing. I was like, yo, like, what the hell? 
And then I was just like, oh, I'm like, go, ooh, better not go outside this door, boy. Ty's going to be waiting for you with that metal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, it was all cool and stuff, you know what I mean? Um, I told Oog, and I was like, bro, you be playing too much mental games. You got to keep it to the game, not personal, you know what I'm saying? Because I tried this did get kicked out, you know? So, you know, and yeah, I don't know. And then that happened. And then I, I went I was at the front door talking to Chris, and Oog was there, and everybody was there. And I, saw, I think I saw Titus could walk back in. I was like, oh, so Titus ain't leave. But he was mad. He looked mad. So I was just like, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep my distance. So I remember uh, Swarm Lovely, she was. She sent me a tweet. She was like, tell Titus I love him. So I walked up to him, bro. I was like, hey, yo, here. Showed him in for two seconds and walked away. I'm like, bro, I'm not about to get on this man's bad side, bro. This man probably, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this fool crazy. So I went to back to where Chris was, you know, BBG Chris, where the front door. And Uga, right? This fool coming to Uga said, yo, GG's. Bam. And then when I went to Uzi he called him like this. So I was like, but don't you ever say something like that again. Wait. Don't you ever say something like that again. I wasn't kicked out of meta, all right? I swear I was about to smack you, the four of y'all. I was like, oh. And you know, Uzi played it cool, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He was like, GG's. But Uzi looked kind of soft. Uzi was like this right after. I was laughing. You know what I'm saying? Probably. That's how I just walked away. But, you know, it was just at the heat of the moment. Later on, I saw them talking. They was cool, you know. It was, it was, it was just something. It was the heat of the moment, whatever, you know. And like I said, yeah, the crowd going, ooh, it was, like, embarrassing for Titus. And like, even though it wasn't true, you know what I'm saying? It's just whatever. It's all mental game. But that was another highlight of the moment. That, that jump was crazy, and it was hilarious, boy. I swear I love laughing at our best, man. That was too many. Um, and the best highlight had to be my son, Mello. Oh, my God. Bob, boy, I thought this fool was an online warrior. I'm not even Melo. I knew Melo could perform that line. I thought his teammates was online warrior, like Cooper Mango. But I ended up finding that Simplicity was their main slayer. He was hitting, hitting consistent plus 37 kills on land. Uh, Cooper Mango did okay. He did good, but he was just hitting 30s. Like he was the one that was warrioring us like badly. But I found out it was just lag comp. It wasn't literally that warrior. I'm pretty sure we played him, and we played him at a. Uh, uh, online, I'm pretty sure that we could beat them. It's just it depends on who's hosting lag comp and all that. But yeah, they're really good. Oh my ball boy. Um, so I was about to play. You know, I see them being like these low class scrubs, and I'm just like, hey, you know, what I'm saying the full first fools they played gave them the boost up because those fools wasn't even talking. So I'm just like, I'm coaching these boys. I'm saying, I'm like, like when, when I first got to the event, Melo walked up to me. Fool said, Yo, can you give these these, these fools some tip about um about being on the land? They never been to a land before. I walked up to them, bro. I was like, Listen, first thing. Don't let the crowd get to you, man. Play your game. That's, that's real. Don't let the crowd get to you. You know what I'm saying? They, if you, you, you guys could get hype, but that's it. Second of all, I forgot what else I said. I remember. Don't let the crowd get hype to you. And don't ever stop communicating. That's crucial, bro. That's crucial. But they failed on that. But, uh, yeah. And that's it, man. They they, they, they get, like, like three games. They, they never lost. They never lost. Now we we'll start getting into the real games where they smacked up Oog. The, the 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 bad thing about them beating Oog was that Oog's team couldn't communicate. You know they had messed up mix amps, so Oog's team almost beat them with messed up mix amps. You know which kind of it, it leads to a twist, but you know you could only really see what happens at later events to see what what could have really happened. You know. Uh, they lost. Ook's team lost them, so I'm like, okay, so Melo's team is way better than I expected. Now Melo's team's about to play like. Was there anybody else good they played after Oog's team? Nah, they played Oog's team again and they beat them. So, no, that wasn't really it. Uh, I didn't really care who else they was going to play because they didn't play anybody else. But then, I remember watching Roger. I was watching the 2v2s. <laughs> uh, I think Roger and Reform beat Profees in them who won the 2v2 last year. That was funny. And, um, and um, what you want to call it? That was interesting. Um, but then, anyway, to the main event. You got Kicks Gaming, Melo, Cooper Mango, Simplicity, and Fester versus Happy's team. Now, Happy's team, I didn't know if Happy's team was going to win, even if they had the other pro saying whatever his name was. I guess I knew it was going to be the final set. That's going to be the team. It's going to be Happy's team versus Rogers' team. It was obvious, you know, whatever. XF wasn't there, you know. I knew, if anything, I knew Melo's team was going to hit third, which that's what ended up happening. But, um, yeah, that happened. And um, I'm here watching. I'm like, yo. 
These fools is nice. They actually like 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 I'm watching a hard point. That was the first battle was a hard point. And they these fools was actually up and they kept communicating, they kept talking. You know what it was I think that was that was that was good about their team? They had they, they had those they had those two way yards. It was the it was I remember it was Detroit because I remember them, them them fools got heated. It was like who the hell runs two ARs on Detroit, man? Their ARs was holding it down so much map control. And after the ARs got a two piece, they just needed one sub to get another kill. That's it. They did that a couple of times. After they kept doing that, they kept getting more and more scrap time. Kept getting more and more hill. They shut down the slain team of Happy's team and the ones of Detroit. Everybody was like, everybody was yo, this is the station we needed to be. We need to be watching what's going on right here. Fools, with everybody was watching, man, and then next game was the uplink. Now this game, yo, Melo's team had it, man. No, Melo's team. I think it was. Uh, I think it wasn't that uh, uh, the uplink after that. I think it was S and D, which Melo's team took again, though, which was two zero. I remember it was two zero because they beat him on S and D. Third game, I'm sorry, was the uplink. I'm here, boy. I'm here, like, yo, these fools got it, man. They they were up, like, what, six to like, six to three. I'm like, this is it, three zero. They three old Happy's team. Now Happy's team, that was on good side. Then Happy's team started coming back, and I'm like, yo, I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm coaching my boys, but I I stay back a little bit. I'm like, yo, let me see what they could do by themselves. It's six six now. Happy's team came back. No, I'm, and then they get one more point, six eight after getting three down on Kicks Nation, Kicks Gaming. Happy's team gets so hype, I stay back, bro. I'm looking at my, my fools, bro. I'm looking at my dons, my young dons. I'm looking at them. These fools were quiet. They didn't say nothing. They was just not talking. They weren't talking. And I'm here like, I told everybody in the, who's watching behind us, like, please, everybody, Chunky, everybody that was near us, I was like, yo, that's their first land. That's like their first land, man. And they don't, I don't think they know how to deal with that type of pressure where they know they're down and that other team's yelling because they had, it hasn't been like that the whole day. Now they're playing real people that know what they're doing and this is happening, bro. That's it. Like, that's game. I was like, that's game, you know. That, that's it. And I knew it. That, that ended up happening. Happy team took the... I remember these dudes, those fools were like, who are these dudes? I'm saying they were talking crazy, but... Yeah, that's what happens. You got to keep communicating. I, I, when I saw them, they, they were shaking, but they stopped talking. I went up to them. I was like, yo, see that teamwork. I got to keep communicating. I got I to keep communicating. They started talking more. They got another three down. But at that, that time, it was too late, man. And that was it. That was the game. Uh, happy to see that. So it was two to one. Then I remember they, I, they, I told them, I was like, okay, new map, refresh. Just keep talking. That's all they had to do. Did that. Three, one, happy team. I was here. I, I missed the ending. It was a uh, Detroit hard point. Their team was up. Happy C was making the final comeback, bro. All these were hold the last hill. They actually came back. And everybody was yelling like, 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 flood the hill, flood the hill. Even Roger was yelling, boy. Roger was like, flood the hill, flood the hill. I'm like, yo, flood the hill, boy. Them fools was just going in there dying. Then one magnificent play on Kicks Gaming. Went in there and got a three-piece. Killed the whole team, bro. He killed the, I don't know, he killed three players. I think one, one AR held on mid. They got the kill. All right, we stood up, bro. Everybody got hella hype. Because happy, bro. Happy team don't lose, man. But they lost. They lost to good new players. And they got everybody got hype. And I just like, I can't. I can't. I walked away. Because you know something? It, 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 I'm proud of Melo's team. I really am. I'm not going to lie. I'm proud of the team. Like, they, I'm proud. Like, I don't even think that my, my team from last year, who may I made in McDonald's, placed in, placed in top five. I don't even think we could have been happy. Like, or at least got a round off them. So... I was proud. I was so proud, bro. I had to walk away. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> yo, I was just shocked. I was really good. I saw Melo get the juice. I was like so happy for these dudes. They deserved it, man. Young talent, they deserved it. Like, and I want you guys to know. Anybody watching this video, fellow ATG people, I want you guys to know. If they could do it, man, so can you. I'm, I'm so serious. Look at Jay Maris's team. They were, they were, they were doing well against Rogers' team. But it's something with the Xbox and the Rogers team just came back up and they wanted it more, so they won. But I want you guys to realize, man, anybody could do it, guys. Anybody. You guys got to want it. Want it more. Communicate. It just You guys got to try. Trust me. If Melo's team could do it, man, anybody could do it. That happened, man. So the event started coming down. I was going to go play some eights. And, um, yeah, I remember, man. It was like at that time, my eyes were red. I was tired, bro. I was like ready for me to go home. Chris was like, uh, Chris was wrapping up. They was taking up gaming. They was taking up the stuff. I was gonna watch the. Uh, I was trying to stay up to like the to watch like Jay Manson's team play uh, Rogers' team, but I knew that Rogers' team was gonna win, so I was like, whatever. Besides, yo, that was another hectic thing, yo. Pemby 
Oh my Bob Pemby was so heated when that when that dude on J Master's team, but I don't know who was wrong in that, you know what I'm saying? Like that dude was like, yo, he was talking crazy to Pemby, you know what I'm saying? And Pemby was like, yo, I'm four times I'm four times the size of you. You really want some of this? You really want some of this dude? And that dude started so he was like, yo, bro, you ain't gonna do nothing. Shut the f I was like, oh and he just going at it. Pemby was like, yo, well, you really want to do this? And then the dude was like, yo, you touch me, bro, you I'm getting your money. I'm like, oh, Titus hyping it up. Oh, snap. <laughs> so uh, so yeah, man, that happened, and that was another crazy thing. Cross Miracle Cross, shout out to that dude, man. He's a really J Man and them dudes, really good, really good calm players. I'll give it to you, really good calm players. Because when that happened, them fools went to Pemby and all them. Yo, we apologize for our teammate, man. Them dudes are gonna get far. You better watch out for them fools, bro. Them dudes are gonna get far. And when it, with that type of respect and just like. The gaming and like have just being that nice that they did, even though it was, it was most likely their teammate that messed it up because he was talking the reckless, the most reckless issue. I remember he said, it, he was like, Y'all some pros, I'm a, I'm a top A, I'm a, and I'm an AM, y'all shouldn't be losing. And then that's when things went downhill because Pemby was like, Shut the f that's when things went downhill. I remember Pemby, Pemby started getting mad at Profeezy, and I, I thought they was gonna get into it, bro. Looking at each other, they was, I was like, Oh, me and Frozen was just chilling. Happy and them didn't notice it, but we was just chill. We was looking. I was like, ah, oh, this is not gonna be good. Profizi, good, good, great player, bro. He started, you know, he calmed it down. He somehow got Pemby to calm down. They, they ended up taking the series. After that, bro, I dip. <laughs> I was so tired, man. You wake up at seven o'clock in the morning, bro. Do all that nonsense. You know I'm saying they're just like, I knew I was dead. So I remember, I, you know, that was pretty much. Yeah, man, this is like a 20, about to hit a 30 minute video, I'm not even trying to make it that long, but that's all that, that was really the funnest part of the event, I went home to go watch the, uh, the rest of it to see how Mel's team was doing, and, you know, they, they, they were down 2-0, uh, I think they got 3-0, 3-0 just sent to lose this bracket, I felt like I was their luck charm, <laughs> I, go for, I felt like I was their luck charm, and that didn't work, so they got 3-0, sent to lose this bracket, I guess they Lost again, and then that's it. They were out of the tournament. Placed third, you know, Happy versus Rogers team, and I think Rogers team won. Rogers team, Rogers, I don't think Rogers team did win against Happy's team. That was ETG 10, guys. I swear, yo, so many highlights than ETG 9. I feel like there was a lot more reckless trash talking than it should have been. I don't know. I just feel like it's a new thing, but, you know, people had to realize where ETG is like, it's, it's like ETG with a culture and every other teams and, and like, events. Trash talking is all cool as long as you keep it to the game after the game and even pro said after the game when you give that respect ggs and we all cool after that bro we realize you know everybody's having a good time but when you take it to a personal level bro and you like like next time you see the kid outside the event you bop him bro that's like that's something else like that's something like what titus and ug would have done guys just try to be a little bit more respectful just a little bit like like trash talk as part of culture do it but after the game, don't don't make it personal and just keep it GGs. Like don't don't you know what I'm saying like don't take it too far. I'm just saying like that is, this this event was a little too wild with the trash talking. I didn't really like that, but it was a good event. Shout out to Dre. He you know he was one of the big hosters of the event. Kuda Sway, Moxie, thanks Moxie for letting me cast with you, bro. Homie said I was a really good caster. Appreciate the opportunity. I see some fools gr like crying about us casting. Like you know what I'm saying? We, we, it's not that they chose us at the last minute. We offered to do it because we wanted to have fun. If y'all fools didn't like the casting, bro, go watch another. Nah, let me stop. But um, it's, it wasn't that serious. But y'all fools need to y'all need to chill. Y'all y'all homies was crying about us casting. You know what I'm saying just watch the game then if you want to hear us cast. Mute the mute the mute the sound. Just watch with no sound. But uh, <laughs> I'm out this junk, man. I can't wait to go to NJ Rob, BBG3, and, and the next ETG, man. So it was too much fun of an event, and I'm not going to miss it. So, guys, I love y'all. <laughs> Peace. And keep the grinding, fam. I'll see y'all homies at Dallas.